guys, it's Black Lantern Trader 24 here, and today I'm gonna review for you guys um, Star Wars Clone Figure 8, uh, Previsla or Previsla, I don't know how to say it. And okay, I know this this one's a bit old. I think it's not valid because it's got the new uh, blue and white uh, type of box, but they just made Wave 3. And I think this is from Wave 2, if I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, but I got this, like, a few weeks back. So, anyway. Um, I already opened the box, as you can see. So, I'm just gonna read what what's uh, on the back of this box. And on the back of this box is actually um, this, which has the picture of a guy right here. And um, he's a uh, Mandalorian a warrior, a leader of the Death Watch. And here's how the figure looks like right here. And alright, and let's get started. Okay, so this is what it says in the back, which is right here. I mean, right here. Alright, um, and that's basically the close up look of this guy. That's how it looks. Alright, so it says Pre Vizsla is governor of Concordia, the moon orbiting Mandalore. Vizsla appears to support peace and criticize the Death Watch, a violent group of Mandalorians who want to return their warrior past. Who want to return to their warrior past. But when Obi Wan discovers that Vizsla is actually the leader of the Death Watch, the governor tries to silence the Jedi in a duel. Dark Saber to Lightsaber. And uh, the Dark Saber actually comes with this, but it's actually right here. That's the Dark Saber right here. I know you guys can't really see it because of the gleam, but I'll show you when to take it out. Alright, so let's take this out, and it's already open. So. You guys be, you got, get the basic um, uh, papers and stuff. So, yeah. Okay. And, alright, I'll put that there. Okay. Let's take this out carefully. Okay. There you go. Alright. So, I'll read the uh, character card first, which um, apparently they made a new game with this. Where, like, every time you buy a pack, it comes with a dice. Um... Which is this one right here. I'll take it out for you guys. It comes with this little dice. And apparently you can play a game using the character cards. And so this is his character card right here. Um, he has a force ability. I'll show you guys when I'm the ring. He has a force ability of 6. Uh, battle skill is a 17. Obviously he's the leader of Death Watch. Intelligence is 12. And he has mechanical skills is 6. Leadership is 18. Like I said again, leader of the Death Watch. He needs leadership for that. And luck is four. Uh, not not so good of a luck. And uh, oops. And here is basically the card. And right there, there it is. That's the card right there. All right. So let's get started with the figure itself. Right here, just take it out. Okay. Now, as for each figure, it comes with a. Uh, this thing, which basically you can um, make them stand, and it's like uh, if you if you put a decoration, you can actually do that for this. So that's for, that's for like decoration. If you want to put decoration, you can make them stand up. And yeah, all right. So let's start with the figure itself. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna take this off, and yes, you can actually take this. Um, like uh, cape sort of thing, it's not really cape because it leans to his like side, but this is what I call it. Okay, now, um, for the that's a close up of his face right there. Uh, for the neck, I think it's a swivel neck, it can go side to side. Um, that's a ball and shoulders, and if it's about the wrist, it's a uh, I think that's a ball hinge wrist. So, um, Swivel torso up here. Just swivel waist actually right there. It says waist, and um, it says swivel, swivel, mm, uh, ball hinge knees, and uh, swivel um foot. All right, so there it is. Okay. Uh, that's all the articulation. It has almost the perfect articulation. Actually, it does because every part, which is his neck, shoulder, um, shoulders. Um, our, um, sorry, but, uh, his elbows and, uh, his wrist and then he has all his knees also. 
and his wrist. So it's complete articulation. And let's get a close-up detail on him. He has two blaster pistols, which can go in into these holsters right here. You can just take mine and put them if you want to. But I actually like them on here on with his um, on his hands. And okay, let's start with the face. He's um his hair is sort of uh pointed up in the front. If you guys can see that, it's pointed up in the front, and he's um. Well, <laughs> there's not much to talk about for his face, and let's move on to the armor. It has like a diamond thing in the middle, right there. I guess that's a that's a normal armor for Mandal Mandalorian uh, warriors, and he's got this symbol right here. I don't know what this symbol means. I don't think it's a Death Watch symbol because you know what? This is the Death Watch symbol right here. You see that? That's the Death Watch symbol. And I actually watched the episode, so yeah. Um. Other than that, it's a uh, basic, you know, pants and uh, armor. He doesn't seem to be wearing, um, like, a leg armor, except for his uh, shins right here. Because when it's clone troopers, they actually have lower armor right here for their, like, thighs and legs. He only has shins for the armors, and I'm guessing this is uh, just normal pants. And, yeah, okay. Now let's get it with the, uh, it actually comes with, um, a jetpack, I think. Yeah, it is jetpack. It, it's the same type as, uh, the one some clones use. Right there. So, you, and there's a little pig on it. Right there, and you can just put it in the hole in the back. Right, like this. And you can actually put it like that. And also... It comes with a helmet, obviously. Um, right here, there's the helmet, and it has a. Uh, it looks like half of the Death Watch symbol on its head, and it also looks like um, the others, obviously. But the, I don't think the others have that little symbol right there, and the helmet just fits in snugly right there. Just pop it in, and uh, this is how it looks like with this helmet. Um. Right there. Now, what I think about it is, oh, right, I forgot to put this on. You can actually put this on also, but you can't put it on if you have the helmet on because you know what? This isn't rubber. It may look like it's one of those like rubber type of strings right here, but it's not because I tried that and it didn't work. So you can just put it to the side like that and then put this on. There you go. Now, one thing I didn't like about this guy though is just it's his helmet. You know what, when you put it on like this with the rest of his armor, it looks like his head is way bigger than his body. Just look at this. It looks like, oh, yeah, this thing falls off a lot. It's not really, like, perfectly tight in there for mine. I don't know about yours, though. But some are, uh, some are, some works very well, some doesn't because, well, just how they produce it. Alright, so that's how the head is, and yeah. As you can see, the he the helmet looks way bigger than the rest of the body. So, that's the one thing I don't like. Even though the helmet looks really cool, it doesn't look cool. Um, if you put it on, because it's so big. Compared to the rest. And yes, here is the dark saber I was telling you guys about, right here. You can actually make him hold it, but I'm not going to do that, because mine is, um... It's still tied with the uh, little plastic bands, right there. You can still see it. It's tied with the plastic bands, right there, and the other side, right there. Okay. Here's a dark saber, but compared to a normal white saber, it's a bit shorter. More like a dark knife instead of dark saber. It's actually really short. That's how it looks. Like. It's compared to his body. It's really short actually. Um, it only goes on for about like from his head. Um, it only goes on about from his head to his, uh, well, waist. It only goes up until, like, here. So, that's, uh, not really good. And, yeah, that's basically my review of, uh, pre -Vizla. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And, well, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye.